Good evening, Oklahoma. My name is Brandon Booth, and this is an OU Nightly Weather Brief. Well, today we've been sitting above freezing, or uh, sitting at freezing today, and we're going to continue doing that this evening, sitting in the 30s and 20s across the majority of the state. That is going to be helping us uh, have those changes, some frost in the morning on those elevated surfaces. But as we look at tonight, though, into tomorrow morning, we'll still be seeing the 20s, but then you can notice that those suddenly winds tomorrow are going to be picking up and allowing our temperatures to get back up near 50 degrees across the majority of the state. Those suddenly winds are a key factor whenever we talk about our next storm maker coming in this weekend. That humid air is going to start coming back up into central Oklahoma, and that's what's allowing us to have that threat of some severe weather. That's why the Storm Prediction Center here in Norman has issued a enhanced risk, which is a three out of five for a high winds driven risk, but we also see some embedded tornadoes and we'll take a better look at that on future cast. You can see Sunday afternoon we have that chance of some storms starting to form about five o'clock out west. You can see those stills starting to move in towards the east. That's going to turn into a squall line. That's where those winds and, and potential embedded tornadoes could be seen all the way through the metro area around 7 to 8 p.m. And then it's going to make its way quickly across the state. You can see it's already in Tulsa and Muskogee by 10 and by midnight it's completely out of the state. That allows us to go in and see our seven day forecast. Again, we have that chance of storms on Sunday and then we're going to be warming up through next week, having temperatures above normal, but then we start to cool back down going into Thursday. This has been a No Unitely Weather Brief. Thank you for joining. Make sure to turn the show weekdays at 430. Have a good evening.